what's popping y'all your girl Carice Monet is back with a new video so this is going to be a different kind of video I am talking about living with these long nails how to do things that people think you can't do very easy very simple if you're new here welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in uh, make sure you subscribe below you don't want to miss the content that I will be posting don't know what I'm going to be posting next but if you have ideas let me know down below all right so let's jump in number one it's going to be cleaning your nails, okay? Keep one of these with you at all times. Wash your hands. Get in there with that brush. It's so helpful. It gets everything out that you can't get out doing this. Or When I do my makeup with the sponge or the beauty blender, um, normally my nails are brown by the time I'm done because of all the foundation that's under my nails. This is the only thing that gets them clean, to be honest. I can wash my hands and try to do this, and it, it still doesn't work. So the brush saves my life, okay? Number two, it's going to be wiping your butt, okay? Number two. It's really a two-part process, all these number twos in here. Um, but if you want to get some wet wipes, they will be your best friend. They will help you. They will do the heavy lifting for you. Um, and then I have a, a old raggedy toilet paper roll here. Um, you're just going to take you some toilet paper, wrap it around your hand. You want to make a nice little cushion on your hands, okay? I do go through a lot of toilet paper, so I'm sorry to the trees. I'm so sorry. But you want to make sure your nails are covered up. Make a little cushion pillow on your nails. When you wipe, everything's concealed and covered. You don't get anything under your nails. You don't scratch your butt with your nails. It's all easy like that. Toss, you're good to go. Okay. okay. If you need to, go back in with another wet wipe. I feel like people are like, why are you telling me how to wipe my butt? But it's really not that difficult. Like people think that the nails make you nasty and you can't clean yourself. It's really not that hard. It's really simple, you guys. We're gonna jump into number three. Number three. I have a cheat sheet here y'all sorry I keep looking away but number three are contact lenses I didn't bring any with me um, but to be honest these help me so much my real nails are thin like this paper they are super thin razor sharp they're brittle they just don't grow well so these benefit me very much because my real nails actually slice my lenses all the time. I cut, I like scratch my eye a lot. Um, and these, they're so thick that when I go in and pull it out, it just comes out and it, it's perfect. It, it's so beneficial. Um, and it's really not hard to put them in. I go in with the middle finger. It has the least amount of pressure out of all your fingers. So you just want to pull one, pull one, boop and you're good to go it really isn't that difficult for the lenses um i have seen people use this like little contraption it's like this big it's not really big it's a little stick it looks like a little eye plunger on the end i don't know what to call it but they stick the contacts in their eye with that and i'm like honestly i think you'd poke your eye out with that first before you would with your nails so it's a personal preference to be honest go figure Number four is going to be food. Um, if you're cooking meatloaf, you're battering chicken, pork chops, whatever the case may be, I suggest that you try to wear gloves, disposable gloves, so that you don't make these look horrible underneath. You're going to be picking out meatloaf and flour, y'all, forever, okay? I'm just letting you know. Gloves will save you the time and the hassle. If you can't find the gloves, get you another brush for cooking. When you're done, you can clean those nails, get them clean underneath, and everything's good to go. Um, it's really a headache cleaning food out from under your nails, trust me, I know. Um, but they are helpful when you're eating food that's too hot. Um, if you don't want to wait for the food to cool down, and you're like me because you're always hungry, I have some popcorn over here. You can go in with your nails, pick up your food. You won't burn yourself. You can blow it off if it's too hot, cool it down, and everything's good. They're like your own personal toothpicks, y'all. It's so amazing. There are toothpicks on the go, okay? And if it's like, I don't know, honey buns or bread or meatball, whatever, you can like actually stab it and just have it on your finger. <laughs> 
and you won't burn yourself so I think that the nails are awesome I mean obviously if you really put a lot of money for like diamonds and designs I wouldn't be you know sticking them in your food but it's helpful it's there for you to use if need be okay um and it's really helpful but keep the brush and they're great for eating <laughs> number five and number six <laughs> five and six are going to be um connected a little bit um they are my struggles okay loose change i cannot pick up loose change with these fingernails if i drop my change it's just going to stay behind i can't pick it up unless i have some paper to scoop it up with or something i can't pick up change y'all so when people come to my register and drop change on my counter i get so mad i'm like i'm right here you could have easily put it in my hand, but you put it on my counter. So now I'm going to hold up the line trying to pick up your change. No, I, I know I could probably just slide it off the counter, but no. I'm going to be difficult. I'm going to try to pick up each one because you dropped it on my counter. Um, Patty, I'm sorry, but my hand is right here. Like, it's so... Uh, people don't understand, okay? Customers, customers, please hand okay it's it's respectful even just put it in my hand okay <laughs> oh, Jesus. all right and then earrings okay you guys um so studs are difficult because there's not much space back here and to try to take the backs and put them on and, and I have to like do this to get back there because it's so tiny back there um I just struggled to put this one on let's see if I can get it off you guys the struggle okay I got it so little studs are, are such a hassle let's see okay it's in there and now I gotta put the back on <laughs> So, to be honest, if I know that I'm running late, I'm going to just grab a pair of hoops because these studs will make me 5-10 more minutes late just trying to put them all in, like these two and then this one up here. Just give me some hoops and I can go, okay? I love studs. They're so cute. I try to leave one in up here just because it's difficult, but the other two, sometimes I just don't even because the struggle. Um, but honestly, hoops are easy. Anything that you could just hook in is easy. Anything with a back is a struggle. Um, but if you guys have tips for that, please let me know because I love my studs. They're so pretty, y'all. Okay. Scratching. Oh, it is the best thing in life. Oh my God, you guys. No brush, no comb is going to do justice that these can do when you're having an itch. Just go in, washing your hair. So and it is the best scratch of your life okay <laughs> okay lastly we are going to discuss a little quick discussion okay people think that these nails look ratchet and ghetto first of all let me just make this clear okay I am the whitest black girl people have ever met I'm an Oreo have been my whole life okay I don't find this ratchet to me, this is like so elegant and beautiful and gorgeous. They elongate your fingers. They just make your hands look pretty. Like, what is ratchet about it? I mean, don't get me wrong. There, there are some exceptions to the rule, okay? You know, you have the... Mm, mm, the, 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 the curve. I mean, it's, it's your personal preference. It can get a little extreme sometimes. But I don't think this is ratchet. I think this is gorgeous. Don't you? Like, hello? I mean, and it can be beautiful with artwork and designs and you can express yourself and colorful. People don't get it, y'all. You gotta try it. Don't knock it till you try it, okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't knock it till you try it, alright? So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for a new video, any tips for having long nails, anything like that, please drop them down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think, how you guys feeling, and thanks you guys for tuning in. Bye guys!